All right, guys. So I got my my truck here. It's a little dirty, I know. So um, I know I have a pretty good following ever since I posted my transformation video. And I kind of wanted to post a little update, you know. I haven't really showed the truck that often. Um, but I just got the uh, sway bar installed yesterday. There, It looks like there's a slight clearance problem, but I measured it out and it, it runs parallel with the shocks. So as the shocks compress, the sway bar just goes straight up like you, like a normal sway bar. So it looks like there's a small clearance issue, um, especially on the passenger side. For some reason, this side came out just a little closer, but I had to I had to cut the ears off, twist them and re-weld them, and then I had to make some custom links. Um, I ended up extending them like four inches but these are off-road design uh, DOT approved brake lines, by the way. They're coated and stainless. Um, but, yeah, so um, I'm doing a little welding. I got my sway bar installed Oh shit! yesterday, and the track bar came in the mail yesterday evening. So it came with the brackets, which I tack welded this one on already. It's... Um, and you have to weld one side of the plate on and here's the other one I already got this one pre welded, but it um Yeah, this this metal comes bare so you don't have to do any sanding on it It's really nice. You can just get straight to welding on it. So it's nice that people uh, Especially big companies know that but here's the track bar And it comes with these little himes with a fitted adjustable zerk or um fit fitting i don't know why i said zerk there's no grease zerk on these but these look like just the regular maintenance himes that you have to take the cups out and oil them so before i slap these on i'm going to throw some bearing grease in here and not drown it but get it get it lubed up pretty good and uh kind of keep some water out of there um you'll have to cut to fit this but look how thick this damn dom tubing is that's at least a quarter inch so i mean i got pretty big hands and and my thumb my thumb almost fits in here but anyways so the other track bar mounts right here and luckily i was smart enough not to remove all of my ifs bracketry so it looks kind of ghetto up in here, so don't mind me. But this is going to sit somewhere in the range of right here on my old shock mount. But what I got to do first is I got to unbolt the sway bar, um, move the shocks over, and weld it up in there. I already got that one tacked on right there, uh, so it's good to go. But after this, the only front end part my truck will need um, is a proper drive shaft, but that's kind of optional. I just can't go faster than like 20 miles an hour with this one because I don't have a double card in joint. Um, but the other thing I'm going to need is a proper drop drag link because this one has a pretty good angle on it and it's too short so I can't turn as sharp to the right as I can to the left. So whenever it comes to U-turns, unless it's a uh, left hand U-turn, which is almost all u-turns uh, i'm good so if it comes to a right hand u-turn it ain't happening so let's get this um welded up and cut it and keep you guys updated thanks for tuning in this is my my truck and i wanted to post a little update for you guys so uh yeah stay tuned